Hi. Well, you know, I'm probably going to be a little bit more different. Well, I'm going to be a lot different than most of the people that speak tonight. Uh, my name is Chris Foltz. I'm the president of a communication strategy firm here in Chicago. Uh, but more important than that is, is why I'm here in front of you uh, and the road that I put myself through over the course of the last decade. Uh, I'm probably the only person, uh, in, at least Chicago, that owns a PR firm that has spent 120 days in jail, uh, been arrested for felonies, had a drug addiction, um, and that's all true. And, and because of that, that's why I have the opportunity to speak to you guys tonight. Let me just tell you a little bit of the backstory behind it, and ultimately you understand why I'm here today. As a matter of fact, I was joking with Steve, as he knows, I, I read his book when, when I was in jail. I actually had it snuck in in a dust cover of a Bible, no joke. Thank you, Mr. Hilby. Uh, so basically what happened with me is I started in politics at a very young age, at 14. Uh, my uncle was a lobbyist in the Republican Party, um, and he was very big with the Brady Bill, if you remember, Secretary, back in the day uh, uh, when that was passed. So he got me involved in Republican Party politics uh, because that's all that, that my family knew at that time. Uh, now let me tell you about Republican Party politics. A lot of that played into the role of where I ended in the, in, in the end. Um, and, and I'm a Democrat now, for that matter. Um, I started working for President Bush when I was 19 years old. I, I was on the advance team. I started as an intern. Um, and ultimately, that is another reason which led me down the path that I ultimately uh, came to. My mother was uh, un unfortunately uh, very sick with cancer, so I came back to Rockford, Illinois, moved into her basement, uh, had my wisdom teeth pulled out, and, and became an opiate drug addict. Uh, and in that period of time, it may be funny, but ultimately, um, it, it made such a big impact in my life that uh, during that process, my mother passed away. Uh, the next day, uh, I was forced into incarcerated drug rehab by the judge whose campaign I ran just a few, few, few years prior to that. So during the next 119 days, I learned a lot about life. You have no idea what you learned from amazing ways to cook things in jail, but more importantly, people. You learn about people. You learn about a different side of the world uh, than you could ever learn without that experience. Uh, after that time, uh, I moved to Waukegan, Illinois. Now, I've never really been out of Rockford with the exception of, of working for the president and, and visiting various states. Uh, I moved to Waukegan into a halfway house on a street which was lined with, with crack houses and, and every possible drug assortment that you could have. During that time, you know, I, I lost everything uh, when I was in jail. I started over with nothing. My dad gave me $500. I went to Walmart and bought a new life, and you can do that uh, if you really spend your money wisely. Um, uh, during that time, uh, I can only get a job as a waiter. Now, mind you, I worked for the president of the United States of America. I could not get any job. You know, I was president of my fraternity. I did all the cool things everyone in this room did. But I couldn't get a job at a waiter because of this past that I created for myself. Uh, every job that I had as a waiter, I was fired from. And I was fired for this very reason, because I would constantly talk to the staff, I would constantly talk to the owners about starting a communication strategy firm, and they all just thought I was a waiter. Um, and ultimately, I was just a waiter. And when I realized I was just a waiter, uh, that put me along the path that I am today. I'm fortunate enough to say that uh, through this process, I've met some wonderful people. Uh, I own the fastest growing communication strategy firm in America right now. Uh, we represent everything from minor league basketball across the country uh, to the parking garages here in Chicago uh, to fabulous people and actors, entertainers, and media people, which some are in the room this evening. Um, I did all this because I did it for the right reasons. When, when you face all the negatives in your life, and I know the economy's tough right now, we all face that, but nothing's tougher than starting over with nothing, and we are so fortunate right now. Uh, we work with a lot with charity, we work a lot uh, uh, with every business that we can that's a startup, and I'll never forget where I came from, and I'll never forget where we're going, and we're going to do it because of all of us sitting in this room tonight. Uh, I'm sure you guys are going to ask some interesting questions. I trust me, I have some interesting stories. Um, you know, so uh, thank you guys for all coming tonight, uh, and I'd love to talk about growing our brands so we can all think big and act bigger. Thank you.